Howdy, I'm Lester with Isom Refrigeration Systems. And today, in today's video series, we're going to talk about ice machine cleaning an ice machine, the importance of cleaning an ice machine. You're going to see uh, basically the basics of cleaning an ice machine, the do's and the don'ts, and you'll see what happens if you don't clean an ice machine. So um, the first thing about cleaning an ice machine is, you know, typically you've got to take the cover off right here. And on your ice machine, typically there's an on-off button. There's a uh, make ice or clean button. You just flip this up to clean. Take the lid off. And what clean does, clean just shuts the compressor off. And so through the entire water distribution system of, of the ice machine, it just continues to circulate the water. It circulates it through all the parts. And so what you do is you take about ice machine cleaner fluid, nickel safe ice machine cleaner fluid. This is a caustic. It's very, very corrosive. And so we're going to take about two to three ounces of this, and we are going to pour it into the water distribution trough up here. And we're just going to let that circulate around for 25 minutes. You got the timer, Matt? Yep. Okay. So we're going to let that circulate around for 25 minutes. And what that's going to do is it's going to take that cleaner, it's going to circulate it through the entire water distribution system. Any calcium, any mineral deposits, any scale that's adhered to the evaporator or the water distribution system, that caustic acid, that caustic is going to dissolve it and then when we triple flush the machine, it'll just flush it on out. Now, let's say in 20, 25 minutes. I really want to clean my machine. Let me run it for three hours. Don't do that. Um, it'll eat the nickel plating off of your evaporator, and then your ice machine will be toast, and it'll be 100% worthless you'll just be hauling it out to the trash. So, uh, 20 to 25 minutes, never go any longer. It's very important. Only do that. Your nickel plating on your evaporator will be literally eaten away by the, by the cleaner fluid, and it'll run your machine. So, <clears throat> let's take a look over here at what happens if you don't clean your ice machine. And you'll see a difference. This is a horizontal evaporator ice machine. So you can see that the evaporator is like this right here. So the water trough is up here. That's why we had to pour the cleaner in here. This over here is a vertical um, evaporator. And so the, where the ice cubes are made is formed right here. Now your water trough, you, is typically right here. So what you would do is, is on this machine, this is an old machine, um, you would flip it, you've got ice off and clean, you flip it over to clean, you pour your stuff in here, this pump pumps it through the water distribution system, and you do that for 20-25 minutes, then you, you flush it out, triple flush it out after it's done, and then you can go back uh, to making ice. Okay, so, I mean, take a look at this machine. This machine is about 11 years old. So, if you take a look over here, you can see the calcium buildup on the pump. You can see the calcium buildup. On the... Um, condenser here where the ice is made. I mean, it's just coated in white. Matt, have you got a flashlight? Maybe we can pick this up a little bit better. 
So I mean, it's just, it's just pure coated. Now you look down here, you see all the mineral deposits and everything that have been caught up. So then on the inside of it right here, you see the, um, all of the mineral deposits. I mean, this machine's never been cleaned. You can see the water distribution tube right here. It's literally caked with white stuff. I mean, if you squeeze this right here, it's, it's, it's got white cake powder up in there. So how this, how this works is, you know, your water's down here, it pumps it up, it pumps it up across here. This is what gets cold to, and where the ice is made. The water falls down here, it goes down here, it recyclates and comes back up. So I mean, the effectiveness and the speed and the production capacity of this ice machine is tremendously reduced. Now that's not what killed this ice machine. I mean, not cleaning it killed the ice machine. Now come on over here and kind of walk us through what happened on this ice machine. Um, so, you know, they didn't clean this ice machine. What, what happened? What's the series of events of not cleaning it that kind of eroded and killed this machine? Well, it started with uh, obviously not cleaning it. It gets uh, calcium buildup through the water and it, there's a diaphragm in the, uh, what's it called? Your blank. Bypass valve? Uh, no, oh, the dump valve. And I don't have this off, else I need to be able to see it. Nah, that's okay. There's a dump valve back there, and it's got a diaphragm in it. And that diaphragm, if you don't clean it, it gets calcium and mineral buildup in it. It it erodes it. It's a, is it a paper diaphragm? It's rubber. It's a rubber diaphragm? Okay, so it's a rubber diaphragm. And then it'll start rusting out the metal and it leaks real bad in the back. It'll leak. Since it's back in the back, it'll leak. It leaks, it leaks onto the back side of the machine. And so this rusts out. And guess what? This is the... Calcium growing up on this is the calcium the growing up on the condenser. It's it's eating and corroded the condenser away, and I mean this machine is like 100% uh, no good. If this machine had been clean on a regular basis and been taken care of, the owner of it probably would have got another five six years out of it, possibly. It's no guarantee, but here's what you can guarantee. He didn't clean it. So it died well before it could have. So here's another thing. When you're cleaning your ice machine, okay, well you clean it every six months, unless you've got your bacon bread, your, uh, you've got beer, you know, you're serving a lot of beer, uh, you're making pizza dough, anything that's got a lot of yeast content in it, You've got to clean your ice machine every 90 days because what happens is, is you'll get slime, you'll get mold and fungal spores. This is a very wet environment and those spores really just kind of take off in there. So you know, we recommend you clean your ice machine every six months. That's what it's kind of designed to do. You run filtration on it, you change that filtration out every six months. But if you've got a yeasty environment, you're a bakery, you're a pizza shop, um, you're a brewery, you need to clean it every 90 days. Um, so, when you clean your ice machine, you know, we've talked about, you know, you put the ice machine cleaner fluid in there, you let it run for 25 minutes. Matt's got it on a timer so that we don't go over. Yeah. Um, the other thing you need to do is, these fins back here on your air-cooled unit, you know, they'll get dusty and clogged up and everything. You need to take a nylon brush, a nylon brush, not a stainless brush, a nylon brush, and, you know what, dust that up. You can see the dirt literally just kind of coming out of there. That increases the production capacity of your machine when you do that. How an ice machine works is the refrigerant runs through the um, the ice plate it removes heat off the water so that it can 
um, so that it can uh, start producing ice. The refrigerant picks up that heat, carries it through here, so there's copper coils that go back through here, back and forth, 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 all the way down. There's a fan back here that pushes air across here. So that air being pushed across here is what cools the refrigerant down so that it can come back around and remove more heat from the water so that it can make ice. If these fins are clogged up with dirt, guess what? The refrigerant's not really being cooled very effectively. And if the refrigerant's not being cooled very effectively, then it can't come back around and remove more heat from the water so that more ice can be made. Your ice production, if you've got a, a you know, if this is clogged, can be severely affected. I've seen I've seen these to where it looked like it had a you know a coat of dirt just on the back of it. You could literally just peel it off. There's no way in the air was really getting back through there. And it was shutting down the ice machine on high head pressure. So you know, doing simple things like that will save you money. I mean, you know, we come out there, clean the back of this. It takes us 10 minutes, but we got to charge you a service call for coming out there. Then we're going to charge you an hour's worth of labor. Then it's 150 bucks. Now, you know, this, the service side of the business, we really like that. But, you know, really, you know, if you can save yourself some money, this is a simple, when you're cleaning the ice machine, it's a simple way to save yourself some money. A hot, okay, greasy so, environment is the worst for that. Yes. So, the other thing you need to do whenever you're cleaning your ice machine is you need to go up underneath with some bleach a bleach solution and you need to wipe up underneath. This is underneath the bottom side of your ice machine up under here is like black mold heaven. So it can get really extremely nasty under there. So you want to take a bleach solution and, and a rag and kind of wipe it down to kill any mold spores that might be there and to and to wipe off any black mold, and that's typically what you'll find up underneath there, that, that may form up in there. This is a good time to do to sanitize your ice bin. Empty the ice bin out, take a bleach solution, you know, cup to a gallon of water, and just, you know, wipe it down. I mean, this is a wet environment, and, and fungal spores really thrive in this environment. And uh, you know what? It's a health issue. You don't want to be making your customers sick. You don't want to make you sick. Um, you know, and, um, and so that's a health issue. And then the rest of it is about taking care of your ice machine. So very important when we're done with our 25 minutes here of running our ice machine cleaner fluid through the machine, it's very important that you triple flush the machine. You don't want to be making ice that's got this caustic in it. I mean, this caustic is powerful enough to be removing uh, nickel plating off of your evaporator. It, it probably could kind of make you sick. So, you know, when you get done with it, you, um, you just flip it back into, uh, to, uh, like ice making mode, let it introduce some new water, get it to dump. Like that right there. Some have a flush button. Some will have a flush button. Different buttons, different things. But we'll let this run through its cycle. It's going to drop all the water out and it'll go down the drain. We're going to let it reintroduce a new set of water, let it run through there for about a minute or two. And then we're going to do the same thing, and we're going to do that three times so that we make sure that we get all of that caustic out of there. Hope this has been helpful for you. If you've got any questions, please give us a call, 817-888-3056, or 
or visit us on the web at letsmakeice.com. Thank you and have a great day.